Look who's coming to town. Oh my God. <laughs> Fitness Olympia champion. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi Finally. I know. We get to have you on JTV after I'm all this time. so pumped to be on JTV. <laughs> I'm a subscriber. Um, I'm really, really excited to do this with you. What guys. an honor to have an Olympia champion such as yourself today. Yeah. You've been coming to Vegas here and there. You come to Vegas quite a bit. Yes. And you always come for a day. So I said, tell you, please let me know next time you come. Yeah. And you did. You told me at the, at the beginning of the month. So I'm going to film today for the first time. Yep. So excited. I'm freaking pumped. I'm here for two <laughs> days. So let's do this. All right. <laughs> let's get in there. Hey, Miguel. Welcome to the Dragon's Lair. <laughs> Old pals. <laughs> Miguel. Okay. Miguel is so all right, guys, Day Man Max 6, we're back at the Dragons there, and I have the great pleasure and honor to have the champ, Fitness Olympia. Uh, Missy Triscott, welcome to uh, the Dragons there and on JTV, finally. Yes, finally. <laughs> Thank you, David. Appreciate it. And I'm so pumped to be on JTV right now. Uh, like you guys know, I'm a subscriber. I watch all the content you guys put out. So it's been it's been super humbling to come here to the Dragons Lair and be on JTV. A long time coming. And she sure deserve it after this huge win you pulled over Oksana Grishina a couple of years ago. You're just about six weeks, five weeks, I think, from the Arnold Classic with a, re with a, with a vengeance. Uh, there's a little story that Jay told me on the side that I want to bring up with this okay. contest coming up. <laughs> but I want to go back a little bit and tell people um, how you took the, the sport by storm and won that elusive Olympia title that everyone uh, who gets into bodybuilding wants to get. You know, that's the whole goal of all of us when we get into bodybuilding. So tell me when your journey started, how old were you, and how did you get involved in the sport? Sure. So I started my fitness journey when I was 17 years old. My older brother was big into bodybuilding, and at the time YouTube was starting to make you know it was it was getting big and he was always watching Jay what year was that <laughs> um, it was I was 17 so like 20 2007 around there okay. um, so Jay Cutler was really big on YouTube um, and I remember watching videos of him Adela Garcia and I just thought to myself, I want to be a professional bodybuilder. I want to do this. And then I remember going to a Jay Cutler seminar, the first time ever seeing a bodybuilder in real life. 2009, he came to Toronto after winning the Mr. Olympia. It was in October. And I remember seeing him and how big he was. And I was like, holy crap, like, I want to do this. Like, I want to be like Jay Cutler. So Jay is a huge inspiration to me. And really, he's the reason why I pursued bodybuilding. That's I hear guys say that all the time about Jay, very rarely women. So you actually were you're taking with the sport and it, it, it spoke to you. You said it was in Toronto. So are you from Canada? I am from Canada. Yeah. So wow. I'm from northern uh, Ontario. So two hours north of Toronto. Uh, grew up in Midland, Ontario. So I did drive like three hours in a snowstorm to see Jay in Toronto. Wow. <laughs> but, you know, whenever he came to Canada, I was always there waiting in line. Little 17 year old Missy, you know, little scrawny girl. But he was just a huge motivation to me. And still to this day, Jay is the goat right yeah still today <laughs> were you an athlete were you into sports when you were in high school or before you got into bodybuilding yeah so I was a gymnast uh, for many years and then I also was a competitive cheerleader okay yeah so that's perfect for you that, that fitness and and who you talked about that uh, Gal Garcia is that who you were looked up you looked up to back in the day who were some of the, the people inspiring the female in the female side sure. of the sport? so uh, Adela Garcia obviously number one um, and then we have um, women like Kelly Ryan back in the day oh, she, yeah, was she was great. amazing yeah she don't won the Olympia at least once agreed agreed yeah um, uh, Jen Hendershot, someone I've really great. looked up to. Yeah, yes. amazing. Tangie Johnson. So, you know, I've had really, really great women to look up to. And um, I found as I evolved in the fitness division, I wanted to bring that degree of difficulty up higher because a lot of the women weren't throwing like big skills on stage. You know, it's hard. We're depleted. We um, manipulate our water and our food to get that shredded on stage. But I thought to myself, like, I need to step it up here. And I believe I did that at the every show I enter, I step it up every year. So you can guarantee this year's Arnold, I'm going to be stepping it up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Tell me a little bit about um, about beating Oksana Grushine because I was there when you won the title the first time. First of all, <clears throat> on that year, it was very nail-biting because they actually announced her first, and then he's like, wait, 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 we made a mistake. So how did you feel when that happened? I want to I wanna know about that because that's got to be crazy. Yeah, so um, at the time, you know, there was a lot of confusion on stage. Yeah. I knew that I nailed my routine and I was first place in the physique round. Um, and there's human error with fitness. I mean, we are getting judged in the morning at prejudge and then we are getting judged at the nighttime. There's math involved. There was a mathematical error, no big deal. You know, you just smile and get through it. I, I knew I won. I knew I won that show. <laughs> Can you imagine? But, but it's like, okay, when you know you won, you're like, okay, wait a second, I thought I won. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you get like second, I'm like, okay, so anyway, I thought it was, I, I have a lot of respect for you because you know, I'm a huge Oksana fan. Yes. I have been for years, I've done many videos with her. It's not easy to beat the champ. And she was probably one of the best that's ever competed, I think, in the fitness division, although all the names you mentioned were great out as well. So for you to beat that, that was a huge achievement. How did you feel that day? Oh my God, it was amazing. That's um, what we live for, right? As bodybuilders, we all want to win the Olympia. And, you know, I did that. I won the Olympia. I'm a two-time champ of the Arnold Classic, um, going for number three this year. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm blessed to be living my dream as a professional bodybuilder. And uh, and I'm, I'm proud to see the fitness division really exploding. Um, I have about 10 fitness girls right now, amateur athletes in the fitness division. Um, three of them are competing at the Arnold Amateur this year, and I'm super, super proud to be a part of their journey too. So fitness is blowing up, and I, I'm here for it. Um, when did you move to the United States from, from Canada? What year? So I moved here back in uh, like 2013-ish, kind of going back and forth. And then um, I met my husband in 2018. We got married in 2019 and we've been together ever since. And you live now in Washington, right? Yeah, Washington, yep, Seattle. Why not somewhere warm? Well, he <laughs> <laughs> he actually grew up in California, um, Sacramento. Oh my God, um, I need to talk to him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and um, just the city we live in, you know, he's a financial advisor, uh, so yeah, it, the city we live in, you know, has Microsoft, Google, all of those big yeah, clientele yeah, yeah. people, Alaska Airlines, so he, he needs to be in a city where people, yeah. Are making money how do you like living there i love it yeah. i love the rain i love the couple months of hot that we get in seattle but uh i, I wouldn't change it i do want to come to vegas though so we gotta we gotta convince yeah, them to yeah. move here <laughs> you've been coming in uh, uh on a regular basis here and there usually just for like a day or two why do you travel so much because of work or so um my husband and i love the sports books and obviously we come here to see miguel um the torture room which is he, behind the camera he's behind the camera yeah. <laughs> he um puts me through like the the torture type massage the aggressive massage we do grass um a lot of elbow work really dig in their thumbs pull the lats out pull everything out um so i would not be in the shape I am right now and the healthiest I've ever been if it wasn't for Miguel. So thank you, Miguel, yeah. the torture room. <laughs> it's so important when you do what you do at that level, especially, uh, I mean, not just bodybuilding, but fitness, because you guys take a lot of tumbles, yes. you take a lot of a lot of wear and tear on your body, so you have to keep up with that, otherwise you, that's when you get injuries. And So I'm glad you mentioned that. For sure, yeah. So we come here to Vegas to see Miguel. Obviously, we come to train at the Dragon's Lair to see Flex, um, and then we love the sports book, so we're, we're in and out in a couple days here. <laughs> <laughs> did you want to always, so you said you got into bodybuilding when you were about 17. Uh, what did you want to do before you knew you could actually make a living at that? Because not everybody can make a living. We all want to do that, especially when you love the sport. But uh, d did you have like a career in mind? Did you want to be a, a doctor? Or what, what did you want to be when you grow up before you got into bodybuilding? Yeah, so I actually went to school to be a police officer in Canada. Ooh, I could see that. Yeah, so <laughs> I did uh, police foundations and law and justice at Laurentian University. And then uh, when I moved to America, I thought, Everyone has guns here. I don't want to be a cop. So I went into the medical field and I became a phlebotomist. So I'm actually oh, still certified. Okay. Yeah, I'm still certified as a phlebotomist so I could go draw people's blood. Um, and I'll do that after I'm done with fitness. Um, I was doing it for a couple of years during my preps and everything. And it just became too, it, much. too much, you know, really shaky from the diet. And I just... I'm glad I got out of the medical field when I did because, um, you know, with right COVID now, yeah. and everything. Yeah, 
So I'll go back to it at some point. Yeah. How much longer do you want to do this, Missy? You seem to be on a roll. Oh, yeah. I, I'm not stopping. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here for it. <laughs> yeah. No end in sight for no, now. No, no. No end in sight. No, no. You look really happy. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going for more titles in the fitness division. I'm not stopping. All right. I just want to wrap up this interview with a little uh, side information Jay told me. He told me that you asked him the permission to work on a shirt for the Arnold Classic using his picture of 2009 with Quan Stomp because yes. there's something behind that message. Yeah, so um, 2009 Jay, we all know that like phenomenal picture of him, the, the Quad Stomp showing his abs and um, that was his redemption. He came back from um, losing from Dexter Jackson Dexter Jackson, and then he came back and he won that Olympia title again. And, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think many people have done that. To no, I, I, never done before. Yeah, to yeah. lose the Olympia title and then come back and win it. So that was Jay's redemption. Um, I'm getting my redemption now. This year, 2022, you mark my word, I'm coming for redemption. Boom. On that note, I don't think I can top it any, any better than this. So, Missy, I want to say thank you so much for taking the time. I know you had to reschedule your flight today. Everything got scrambled. You get to see Miguel after this, but I appreciate you taking the time to come on JTV for the fans to get to know you a little bit better. And next time you come, we'll have more time. We'll take our time, hopefully, do some collabs. Yeah. And then uh, congratulations. Best of luck in five weeks. I'm sure you're going to kill it. Thank you so much, David. Thank you, JTV. Thank you, Jay Cutler. Appreciate all you guys. Um, if you want to follow me, my yes. Instagram is IFBB Missy Truscott, and I'm also on YouTube, Missy Truscott. You can find me there, Road to the Arnold Classic. I will put that in there. Thank you so much. Thank Leave you. my Max 6 with Missy, and we're out.